Well, when we look at um, the, the consequences of a possible change in the U.S. Uh, position in the climate change process, of course, um, we uh, would hope that uh, they would be, uh, they would keep their commitments, they would keep their active participation. Uh, the U.S. is an important partner for the institution. Uh, at the same time, um, we also have to, to realize and uh, fully uh, take account of the fact that uh, the Paris Agreement is an agreement that has been signed and ratified as of today by 132 countries, which means it's really a very robust uh, commitment in the international community. So the negotiations will continue, the commitments will continue, not only uh, the fact that the agreement is in force, uh, but uh, also countries can have come forward reaffirming their commitments and their uh, willingness to really comply with them. So uh, I cannot, I would not say that uh, it, there is not going to be an impact, but at the same time I do want to stress that the agreement is in force and will remain a, an obligation for the great majority of the international community.